Welcome back to my channel. It's Destroy Deception. Jay Chaos here with another video. Today's video, we will actually be communicating the understanding of the law and the prophets. We will be communicating the understanding of the law and the prophets. So what I mean by this is that as we go throughout the scriptures, we'll come across certain scriptures where you can kind of tell that certain folks misused or misunderstood what the law and the prophets meant and so forth. So let's take, for example, real quick before we actually get into the two verses that really is going to explain uh, what is really meant by the law and the prophets. Uh, let's start with Matthew chapter 11, verse 13, and it reads, For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. The understanding of that and what it really means is misunderstood. And so it's those verse that verse is used to twist to twist the scripture to mean something that is not really sane. Because modern day Christian teachers, the majority of them have a lack of understanding in. You don't understand the law and the prophets, so you're going to teach the wrong thing. And so a verse like Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, where the Lord communicated that, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets, not understanding what the law and the prophets is, indirectly twist the scriptures to your own destruction. Just as uh, Peter said, uh, that would happen to all those who are unlearned, um, that who are unlearned uh, and don't know, we're going to communicate and get you guys to understand what the law and prophets mean, right? So now when you ever you see it, you need to insert this into the place of it to begin to understand, oh, that's why the Lord would not destroy the law and the prophets because this is what it's mean. This is what it's for. It is good for you. All righty, let's go. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. And Matthew chapter 22, verse 40, tells us what the law and the prophets mean. Matthew chapter 1, Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Therefore, of all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Matthew 22, 40. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And so the whole purpose of the commandments of God, which when you go back and read, if you go back and read the verses before in Matthew 22, they're starting about 36, I believe, all the way down to 40. that it begins to teach you and show you that you should love God and love your neighbor. The whole purpose of the, any commandment that is given by God through Moses is to show to love God. And love him only. And then to love your neighbor as yourself. To do what is right and good in the sight of the Lord. Do good works. Love God and love your neighbor. This is the whole purpose. Do unto others as you would do unto him. This is the law and the prophets. So now when we read Matthew 5, 17 and, we, and it says, that the Lord come not to destroy the love of God and the love of your neighbor. I come not to destroy any of that. I want you to continue in keeping to love God and love your neighbor. I only come to fulfill what the prophets had said about me, which was to die for your sins and to be resurrected, to bless all the families of the earth. So therefore, now 
when we see uh, when the Lord say in Matthew chapter 23, verse 1 through 3, and it says, Then speak, then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, all therefore. All therefore whatsoever they bid ye observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after, after their words, for they say and do not. What Moses communicated was how to love God and love your neighbor as yourself. This is the whole law and the prophets. This is what has been communicated from time, from time began. Like the video, leave a comment below, tell me what you like, what you don't like, turn your notification bells on. Share the video with whomever is in need and subscribe right now. It's Destroyer Deception. JK is here.